Hello friends, welcome to C Sub Space. Today in this video session, uh, we will discuss about how you can export a data into a Excel format in SP.NET Core Minimal API. So let's start. Uh, I already created one blank project with the minimal API format means that not contain any controllers. So here we create a uh, API. Uh, that return our data into the Excel format. So this is uh, a sample uh, sample template that uh, uh, that is created while we choosing the uh, minimal API. And currently this project into the .NET seven uh, .NET Core seven framework. So first of all, need to add a new kit package for. Uh, a uh, mini excel here i am using a mini excel for exporting the data into the excel format so yes search mainly then simply install the latest version now this has been installed you can check it from here this is installed now now in next step uh, we need to create a like here for uh, dim i'm just uh, uh, creating one class with some uh, sample data list so i am creating uh, one class for this you can uh, bind this list from your our database in your live projects so like I am taking this uh, as a employee and then click on add and here I added a property like a employee ID and then string like a uh, name and then train and this uh, like a uh, like what I'm taking one more like a uh, bull ejective or not like a uh, it's active okay so in uh, mini excel here we can also order these uh, uh, properties while we exporting the data and we can also have a control like uh, which columns uh, no need to export to that excel file so like i am adding one attribute for this it's a excel column excel column and then we can write the name for this like that name will be displayed in uh, that excel file so like i am setting this as id and then you can set the index number here like index this on first column and you can also set the width like I'm setting a width like a 45 in the same things for employee name and yes like I am set that employee name and this index is a uh, one and uh, name contain uh, more values so I set as 120 centimeter and then ejective like uh, if you want to expo uh, ignore this uh, column while exporting the uh, data so we simply write it next column and then we set ignore ignore equal to true And now I am creating uh, one more method for 
uh, returning this data into the list format. So here I am creating one dummy data for this, like static i enumerable i enumerable and then run this class name and then like uh, get list and we return a uh, new list and then it's employee like a new employee and then here we set uh, their uh, properties here so it's uh, employee id is one and then it's uh, name 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 like we name a set here like a john and then it's active throw and then we're adding one more column here one more data like i am adding playlist this employee is two we pick like i am setting this false and this is three this Ellen and active like I'm setting this as a true save it no we had the same call here then I think we are also forwarded this method and uh, need to also this saying a name space oh sorry for this I uh I have added this method outside that class, so we pasted that here. Now this uh, data is completed. So now I am going to uh, this program uh, program CS or uh, creating the API. So click on this, and here uh, we remove this. Uh, dummy uh, dummy api so i will remove this and here uh, we added api for fetching the list of uh, implies and uh, exporting that result into the x format so firstly uh, i create api for getting all the all the employees so it's a map get and here we provide a ul like uh, get all and we set that method as a sync and then and then it's uh, a bit task dot to from result and then in from this i'm setting a employee employee dot or get list in fetching all the record uh, from that uh, employee list and then i'm creating one another api for this dot map get and then here we providing a, a URL for this like export and then a sync a sync and this is the task the sync task and then our task has a result so setting my z results and then result as a file stream so it's a file stream and the file stream 
HTTP result and then also set uh, if data is not found so also set so not found and then we are taking a parameter bold like uh, each active and then cancellation token and zip token and uh, then then we set this really here we did a semicolon for this now it's like a well a filtered list filtered a uh, list is equal to employee dot get list dot where we uh, we filter that code on the basis of there is active or not so it's active and when and we match this with uh, in the parameter c check is active and uh, if if uh, filtered filtered list dot count zero then we return as a type result type result code not found and then taking where member string which part of your member string then it's avid memory stream memory stream dot save save as a sync uh, save as a sync and it's a filtered list and then it's a cancellation token plus it's a token and then we set a memory stream yeah. memory stream dot seek from beginning and this is exporting the that memory stream on beginning of that uh, memory stream so now that uh, return as a type result dot we return that memory stream as a file so it's a memory stream and and here we are writing a content type so i already copied this content type it's a application slash vnd open, open xml formats of document spreadsheet dot sheet means it's like a excel format and here we are adding a file name like i'm adding this file name as a employee dot employee list dot uh, xlsx it's a excel file format so now this code is completed now i'm pressing ctrl f5 to run this application so here i created two apis first for getting all the uh, employee list so click on execute this will return all the employee details and uh, now we uh, we export this data into the excel format so here here i am taking uh, adjective as a parameter to filter this list like i'm uh, exporting 
the employee list which has uh, which is active so you now click on execute this will create a link for are downloading that uh, excel uh, excel file so click on this now this excel is downloaded so now opening this excel so this will saying the de detail for id and employee name that we set inside this order and uh, and uh, mm, column name and we ignore these uh, properties so this will not export it into that excel file so this is the complete process or how you can export your data into the excel format or any other files uh, you want from that sp.net for minimal API so if you have any questions any problems please write in comment box i will reply you soon and if you like my videos please don't forget to click on subscribe button and for getting a latest update also click on notification bell so thanks thanks for watching we will meet in next video session